your Norcast weather update. Brought to you by Comfort Now by Bob McAllister. Summer's coming. Inventory shortages still exist. Give us a call now. Let's plan for you to be comfortable this summer. Comfort Now, 609-400-1005. How are you guys dealing with the allergies? I know a couple days ago, I was really feeling it with the stubby nose and the, uh, you know, uh, mucus. And I hate this time of the year when it comes to allergies. Love the fact that we're ultimately going to start trending towards a warmer direction, obviously. But the allergens like maple, juniper, elm, they get a lot of us. Today, our values are at a 6. Same thing on Tuesday and going into Wednesday, we're down to a five because we could be looking at a few scattered showers coming in. Our chances tick up to 20% on Wednesday, 50% chance on Thursday. Now this again, just like every other rain event that we've seen recently, likely not a washout. There's a chance of some showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon as the cold front comes through. High temperature this afternoon, only 37 degrees. Overnight low was 22. Obviously, we had a factor in the wind chill. It felt like we were in the teens and even single digits for some of you. We should be at 56 over 35 for the normals this time of the year. Now, why is this happening? That's probably a question on your mind. And it all has to do with what's going on roughly 18,000 feet above our head. Okay, the North Atlantic Oscillation is one of the big patterns that we look at is in its negative face. Hasn't been there all winter long. It would have helped us with snow. We got enough snow without it. But high pressure sets up over Greenland and forces cold air down into the northeast and mid-Atlantic. So anytime you see these purple colors, you know that you're probably going to be dealing with uh, colder air, right? That lifts out of here Wednesday and especially Thursday. We have our jet stream retreat into Canada. That's going to allow our temperatures briefly to spike into the lower 70s before our next cold front comes through and brings the temperatures down Again, so temperature right now of 26 in Hamilton, 28 in Mays Landing, 30 in Atlantic City, 23 in Doylestown, 24 in Norristown, and 31 in Cape May. We are well below normal. We stay there for tomorrow. It stays blustery for your Tuesday. And if you can hold out until Thursday, we'll be in a much better situation. I think we get into the uh, probably lower 70s. This is 12 o'clock in the morning. We got temperatures in the 20s. I think there's a chance we get down into the teens through the Pine Barrens, but notice our skies are clear and we continue that theme right through the day on your Tuesday. For tonight, lower 20s, real field temperatures in the teens. Tomorrow is looking blustery and chilly, all that kind of stuff. It's certainly not going to feel like 43 in Hamilton or 43 in Marlton or 39 in Doylestown. Take 5 to 10 degrees off of these numbers, and that's what you should be preparing for. We're up to 47 on Wednesday, 71 with some showers and thunderstorms possible later in the day on Thursday, Friday down to 65, and then over the weekend, middle 50s.